undo functions are great in applications, let's take a look at a favorite undo inside of SOLIDWORKS PDN, the undo checkout. With this practice document, currently it is not checked out to anyone. It has a couple of versions in the vault, and I want to check it out to make potential changes to it. So if I choose checkout, we'll see it puts Dave's name under the checked out by column. If I then decide that I don't need this file checked out, I can choose check in. It goes right back into the vault without creating any new versions. Simply removes my name from the ownership column. If I check it out again, and this time instead of choosing check in, if I use undo checkout, also available in the right click menu, it does the exact same thing. It checks it back into the vault, no new version, simply removes the name from the checked out by column. So let's look at how it actually does work differently from check-in. So now I have again checked the file out. I make a quick change. I'll close and save the file. And now on my hard drive, this document has been modified. It's still checked out to me. So if I choose check in, we'll see it prompting me that it will make version three. Now, if that's what I want, then please add a comment and go about your business. If that's not what you want, if that was a bad change and you don't want the new text or the new feature you've added to your CAD uh, document, then you can easily take advantage of undo checkout. This time it warns me, hey, the, your local file is modified. So when you complete this process, if you go forward, then I'm going to have to get rid of what's on your hard drive and leave this at version two. We'll get a second warning because it's always wanting to make sure you do this intentionally. Because when I click yes, it will delete the file from my hard drive, the one that I've modified and take my name out of the checked out by column. So the next time I preview the file, it has to pull it back from the server. That's what the version column is indicating with the question mark. I don't have a local copy. Now I do have a local copy and it matches version two again from the server. So again, taking advantage of undo checkout or check in if the file is the same, nothing has changed since you checked it out. They do the same thing. If the file is changed, then undo checkout will actually delete files off of your hard drive. This is sometimes necessary as an administrator if you have some files that were checked out by a user and their computer is no longer available to you to check those changes back in. An undo checkout can then be employed to at least release ownership of the files so you could have someone else work on them. Hope this has been a useful tip and see you next time. Thank you.